Hey guys, hello, and welcome to another video, maybe a quick one, not a not a very long one, um, I currently have the phone on the charger, not the, not the, um, not the iPhone, but the, but I have the Samsung on the, uh, on the charging hook. Um, ready to go to bed, so um, I just wanted to uh, just uh, just kind of do a hello, good night type vlog. Told you guys I have a cute one. Uh, this is going to be very quick, uh, maybe 10 minutes. So I wanted to talk about a new thing that is popping up and, and kind of in anticipation for 2024. Um, an anticipated thing that's happening in 2024 for an anticipated thing that's going to be set in motion 2025. So for the, for those of you um, British British racing fans or British or fans of British racing marks and stuff like that, uh, you guys know Jaguar, Triumph, Aston Martin, MG, um, Triumph, and um, Austin, and um, Austin Healy and um, shot um, uh, Austin Crossley, um, Crossley with the shot and a bunch of other cool little sports cars um, and stuff like that, you know, bug eye sprites and um, TBRs and stuff like that, you know, cars that and Lotus, Lotus Lands and Lotus Esprits and, and stuff like that. Lotus, um, Lotus Lands and you know Lotus Twenty Threes and all that other cool stuff. You know, for those of you who are into all those brands, it's kind of ain't for you. Um, so recently, I don't know if it's been old news, but uh, the Aston Martin LMH has finally decided to. Um, to unleash their LMH that they said was going to be unveiled in 2021. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because uh, Scuderia Cameron Glinkenhaus, um, run by James Glinkenhaus, um, kind of pestered the FAA into not excluding them because their engines wouldn't have been competitive and they couldn't make the Alpha engines produce 870 horsepower. And the FAA saw the point, Aston Martin backed out, said, oh, we're not going to do the Valkyrie because the rule set's terrible. We're not going to be able to do it. Because um, I think Aston Martin sensed that there was going to be a fight. And then Aston Martin says, well, we're just going to sit back and watch what happens and see if, and if there's uh, interest in manufacturers, if people are just going to fight. We're not going to spend the money. We're just going to do GT cars, or GT4, and GT, uh, GT3. Um spec cars or you know GTV Pro spec cars um, and stuff like that you know the bread and butter of Aston Martin has always been um, GT cars but you know they've always had a uh, interesting um, thing with prototypes um, so Aston Martin's first real first real foray into sports prototypes probably started in the um, probably started in the Lagonda era with the V12 and an Aston Martin DB1 which was the two liter sport and then eventually we got the DBR1 the DBR2 I mean the DBR1 where you know where Cal Shelby won the 1959 Le Mans his only Le Mans win and as a driver although he'd have Two wins as a team owner, as a team owner and head and head president of his own team, Shelby American, um, at Le Mans, and he'd have Sebring, Daytona, um, and a bunch of other places um, where Ford was good at, and um, and you know they sort of dove off the map with prototype GTs with the DP uh, 
200, 200 series. Um, probably some of the fastest, you know, the Camtail. The Camtail GT car with the 3.6 to a 4.2 liter straight for, for probably producing 325, 340 horsepower. You know, these cars were about doing about 180, 190, even back in the early 60s. So they were coming by at that point. So, um, and the Ferraris that were, um, and the Ferraris were just touching 200. Um, so they went out, I mean, they had, they had a little uh, T70 with a 5.3, and then they had the um, Roy Hamilton Aston Martin with the 5.3 with twin turbochargers and 800 plus horsepower and two miles per two and a half miles per gallon and shockingly unreliable. Uh, they really didn't start doing prototypes, but modern prototypes until 80. So the 83, 84, until the 82, 83, 84, 85 era, which is when they got the Nimrod cars, the EMK car with the 5.3 liter of 650 horsepower. And then eventually, um, like in the late 80s, early 90s, they did the um, 90s, they did the um, Callaway um, AMR, AMR1 um with the Callaway tuned uh, six liter V8, 600, six, 700 horsepower. And then, you know, they didn't make any cars, they didn't make any cars. They made a one-off GT car here and there, but it really, it was really for club racing and stuff like that. The first real time that Aston Martin kind of looked like it was gonna kind of, kind of, kind of get back into racing was, I think with the, uh, with, when the DBR9s came around is when the era of GT racing that we know today started with Aston Martin back in the mid 2000s, um, starting with all the James Bond. Uh, it wasn't until 2007 that Team Sadie, Team Team uh, Saber Racing, or Team Speedy Racing, um, which would go on to become Rebellion Racing, uh, had a six-liter V12 in the back of their car, and then eventually. Um, Sharu's Motorsports took a little uh, BO860, whatever it was, and turned it into a six liter V12 in the Aston V12 to his weight about 600 and some odd horsepower. And then in 09, a year later, they decided to uh, create a, um, they decided to create the AMR, um, uh, the DFR1-2 and uh, that was based on a Lola B09 coupe um, 6 liter V12 about 650 to 700 horsepower capable of over um, capable of well over 350 kilometers or 215 217 miles an hour which which for an Aston Martin was pretty standard at the time and it actually won the champion, the, the uh, American, the uh, not the American, but the uh, European Le Mans Championship. Uh, and then 2011, they tried the they, they tried the AMR1, the failed car with the two liter six cylinder with barely over 420, 430 horsepower, which was kind of weak, you know, in order to compete with um, Peugeot and Audi and everybody else, they were going to have to. And then I think in 2011, over here in the states, they went with they went with the coupe body um, with uh, with a BO9 or BO860 Lola, and that was done by Muscle Milk um, Peter Racing. And then from like 2011 up till like just recently, there was talk 2018, 2019, there was a talk about the Aston Martin Valkyrie that coming out. Then the Valkyrie was revealed, and then Aston Martin decided to make a modern car. If you guys have not seen Aston Martin Valkyrie, it is a godly looking car. It is un looking car. It's great. It sounds awesome. It's fast. It's supposed to be a record setter and all this other good stuff. And there's an AMR racing version. 
uh, with the, with with Urugul's amount of downforce, thousand points power. Um, and then they tried to. They said, "Oh, we'll do two hundred to eight hundred seventy-five, four eight hundred seventy, eight hundred seventy-five, whatever they wanted to do with the series." And they sat there and were like, "We'll do this," and then. Jim Glickenhaus was like, well, we can't make enough for a male engine. Well, we can't make enough for a male engine. Uh, 870 horsepower, that's not going to be enough. So things went back to the drawing board. They cut the power dust between 670 and 700. Aston said, well, we're not going to do it. We're just going to stay in the background. We're not going to come in. We're just going to see what happened, see if there's any growth. And if there's too, if there's too little growth, we're not going to enter the championship. And you guys will... Because we're just not fighting a Toyota. We're just not fighting Toyota and a backmarker that just won't be competition. We want everybody to have a fair shake at the title. Uh, I think they just wanted to just stomp on, come in and stomp on Toyota, I guess. But, um, but, uh, but this new, but the rumors sparked up in 2022 that they'd be coming back. And they start in 2023. And here in 2024, they've, started testing the car um it'll be interesting to see how what they have to do to park down i don't know if it's going to have a hybrid system or not um the if it's going to have a hybrid system or not there's no real details on the amr um on this uh aston martin valkyrie l i amr racing um lmh lamar hyper car um lm lamar hyper hyper car not LMHC, not LM, not LMHC, which would be a licensed men, LMHC, which would be a licensed mental health counselor. Don't get that all twisted. But, um, but yeah, um, I'm excited to, um, to you guys over the coming days. If you guys want to watch a video of this thing screaming on a racetrack, because the heart of, and the guys who are taking part of this are the heart of racing team who have been kind of flying the flag for Aston in GT competition over here and then over in Europe. Um, so it would be interesting to see what they do with the car and see how the car turns out. I hope it's a winner so we can, and it'll be just nice to hear a nice chimey B12 at uh, Watkins when we go back next year. So, um, so yeah, um, I'm going to post this video as soon as I'm done yakking to you guys. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment. Um, so my eyes are going to be dilated. I'll try to do one at the end of the night when I come back home from the movies because I'm going to be seeing Instigators tomorrow. Really good. Heard it's a really good movie. It should be interesting with uh, Matt Damon and Casey Affleck and listen to real Boston accents and not, not fake ones. So, um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later and We'll, uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow and I'll tell you guys what I thought about the movie and um, we'll do so. So, and I'll talk to you guys more about the um, Aston Martin Valkyrie and um, and stuff like this. And, you know, I'll give you guys updates on, um, on it and stuff like that. And then I may release... Then on Tuesday, um, you know, I might do gameplay or something like that. Release it after I go to, after I come home from work, um, and then um, or shoot the vlog after I come home from work. But um, actually, I might upload a a, a a gameplay video from Grand Turismo, and I think I might do a vlog at the end of the night. So. Um, and so you guys, you know, some of the new things that have been happening in Gran Turismo, including this BMW E36 M3 that doesn't want to steer straight, even though it's, I think it's got glitch problems or whatnot. So, um, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, and peace, and we'll meet back here tomorrow for another, for another vlog. Peace out, folks.